Welcome to Bible Logos. My name is Tamiko Greeley and I am your broadcast host. And today I cannot wait to present to you part three of the message entitled From the Pit to the Palace by our very own Pastor Rose Charlie. Remember to like it and share it on social media with your friends and family. All right, get ready for part three of From the Pit to the Palace. And ever since I was reading this story, Joseph never complained. He was chilling in the villa and he wasn't complaining. I was wondering, is there anyone in this church that can uh, say, I'm not complaining about the wells I've been in. Because you see, I was in there, but there was no water in it. And it, it didn't, I didn't drown. And guess what? It didn't take me out. They put him in a well, and then they saw a caravan coming. Y'all know the story. And so Judah, who is another brother, let him, uh, no, don't let him die. Die in here. He said, let's make some money off of him. Let's sell him in slavery. I'm not going to bother that, but the word Judah means praise. So you have a praiser who is an opportunist. Appraiser that take advantage of people because there are some people that will praise with you on Sunday, will sell you on Monday. So, so they sold, sold him to the Ishmaelites. Now, those of you that went to Sunday school know who the Ishmaelites, the Ishmaelites was Ishmael. Y'all getting quiet on me again. I know I'm not teaching it right, but... Y'all remember Ishmael, he was the son of Hagar and Abraham. See, when God is taking you somewhere, he got a place for you. He, he, he was the fruit of a mistake. He was the son, you know, not of the mistake, the evidence of the mistake. Which I mean, have any of you all ever made a mistake? I made so many, I can't count them. That God turned your mistakes into the past, into a new position and to give you transportation to a new season? Did you hear me? God is so sovereign that he knows when, to, when the time your mistake in one season that he could use to bless you in another season? Oh, I'm not talking to people making me. Joseph would have never gotten to Egypt had it not been for the, Ishmael, the Ishmaelites. And then they were traded to the Mennonites. They, Joseph wouldn't have never, never gotten to the, to the palace. Will somebody just help me right now? Just praise God for a minute because the enemy wanted you, your mistake to be fatal. But God who redeemed you, your sins will turn your Ishmaels into a blessing. Can I get a witness? Is there anyone can say that God used my mistake to make me stronger? He used my mistake to make me wiser. He used my mistake to make me better. Ooh, too many saved people in this place today. And I like that because if you save them still, I'm saved too. So he arrived in, in Egypt working for a man in Potiphar's. And remember, it was always said in Joseph's life, he's in, he had favor. He was favor with his biological father, but he was also favor with God. You see, when you favor with God, devil and hell can't do you no harm. The brothers who took his coat, they didn't realize that they didn't take his favor. You can take whatever I got, but you can't take my favor as long as I'm Lou using it for God. So you can take what I have, but you can't take my favor. So wherever, you, wherever they put Joseph, he prospered because favor was on him. You see, you don't have to... Make room for your gift. God will make room for your gift. So stop trying to suck up to people and kiss up on people to get promoted on your job, in the church. Just do what God wants you to do. 
God will take care of you. So wherever they put Joe, Joe was, he was prospering. He, he worked for a man named Potiphar, and he advanced in rank. But this is the challenge. Elevation make you attractive. Those of you that's in it and, and, uh, and want to be elevated, you're attractive. And attractiveness, sometimes we lose who we are by being attractive to people. If, they, if you wasn't elevated, they wouldn't look at you. I hate to bust your bu bubble. Am I right about it? Okay, y'all, y'all, y'all. Okay, okay, okay. So Joseph was attractive because he was working. And, and uh, part of us, he was so attractive that part of his wife, she had been seeing Joseph and kept Joseph, kept ducking from her, but she just kept on because she was attractive to him. I believe Joseph was handsome because his mother Rachel was a demon. I mean a fox. I mean a demon. But when, when God start elevating you, you attractive and you can only be elevated to the degree in which you can handle it. If you don't know what to do with some opportunities that some people will give their right arm to do, to send you into deeper confusion. Why? Because your super gift, God has made room for it. And Satan wants to take what God has given you. Can I get a witness? Welcome back. Isn't that a powerful word? Don't miss tomorrow when we come back for part four of the message from the pit to the palace by our very own Pastor Rose Charlie. I need you to do me a favor. Like it and share it with your friends and family. I am Tamiko Greeley and I want you to remember that the sower sows the word and therefore it is with the same measure you meet that it shall be measured unto you again.